Hey folks, it's Phil from OpenCV here. I'm at Circuit Launch Mountain View for the Seed Embodied AI Hackathon. We are going to go check out some of these submissions right now. Come on with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on freaking go! <laughs> to automate and identify different ways like plastics or food. Robot, whose name is Tick. Your tic-tac-toe robot playing friend of the future today. Um, <laughs> let's go, Tick. <laughs> I'm here with Ginger from Hackster, uh, a name who is probably well known to many of the people watching this channel. Ginger, thanks so much for having us here, and can you tell us what's been most exciting to you about the hackathon this weekend? Yeah, so of course, you know, like coming from hackathon culture, um, I'm just a fan of hackathon. I love seeing live action of people coding, working with hardware, uh, making things happen. But also, you know, one thing that Dustin Franklin, the principal engineer from NVIDIA today, he mentioned is that what people can contribute, what can people can build in like 36 hours, sometimes amounts to six months of work. That's a lot of contribution, and it's just such a great way to event evangelize um, and get people engaged with open source development and I really love seeing like uh, that happen like this weekend with some like really low cost DIY easy accessible kind of like hardware so in the future that you know um, AI embodied AI can be more ubiquitous you know for students to learn and for developers to really adapt Okay. So, um, yeah, our uh, our goal was to build a, or rather, program a robot that can sort Legos. Oh, I'm going to a little nudge. <laughs> Deus Ex. <laughs> Today we're going to show what we've uh, tried to do with uh, two, two SO2 arms and having cameras and three cameras in our system. We didn't just go back to the home position, we went and looked back at the uh, white bowl, I would say, to see if there was anything and then go back so that the model can assume or train or think that. Oh, we also did a lot of PID tuning. Uh, one thing we did, we also used rerun to tra plot our trajectories versus what the action states are. I'm gonna let my team introduce themselves. Um, you know, this is this is David. This is uh, Justin and Philip. Or Philip, and don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to say something? Right. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, we have an exciting uh, we have an exciting presentation for you. To create a hands-free, remotely operated robot assistant. Oh, yeah. oh damn. Hi, I'm here with one of the organizers of this hackathon, Elaine Wu from Seed Studio. Elaine, can you tell us a bit about the purpose behind this hackathon? Yeah, I have you. Nice to meet you. Uh, now we are having an embodied AI hackathon using this low-cost uh, 3D printed uh, uh, robot arm kit and also leverage Hugging Face Low Hobo framework. They're providing data sets, models, and all the tools to train a um, deficient policy and an SAT policy and for experience end-to-end -end, uh, uh, end -end learning for robot arm. Yeah, so this is will be the end-to-end and the AI um, strategy uh, for uh, building up the robots. Yeah, I see that we are making technology for accessible for all, so we hope all developers together to experience the most solely arts, AI models, and also technology for robots. Hey everybody, it's your old friend Phil here from OpenCV with the winners of a hackathon here. Folks, can you tell me a little bit about what you did this weekend? 
Hi, uh, my name is actually CV. I go by CV. <laughs> so um, great to be on Open CV channel. <laughs> but yeah, so this week we actually trained the model Groot N1 for bimanual manipulation to pick and place small items from two different locations into like a tray. Um, and we also trained um, ACT and Pi Zero as well and try to inference these. Yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. In about, what, 36 hours, something like that? Actually, less than 24. <laughs> fewer, fewer than 24 hours, folks. Um, and can you tell us uh, what you all won a little bit uh, for this hackathon? Yeah, we all got a re-camera, which is an amazing embedded system camera that we can use for robotic uh, projects. We also got a Jetson Orin, thank you so much, uh, and $500 as a gift card that we can use. Yeah. That's, I mean, I've spent worse weekends, I guess, right guys? Um, <laughs> is, there, is there anything you would like to say to the folks out there watching? Talk a bit about hackathons. Is this your first one or? Oh, no, actually, this is, I keep doing multiple hackathons all, all throughout my life, actually. Um, but uh, this has really been really memorable for me because Groot M1 came out two to three days ago, and we were able to fine tune it and use it. And Lee Robot is an amazing platform, which allows us to just, whatever we think about, they've done it. And that's really good. So Groot and Lee Robot, really great. Yeah. And open source. Yeah, and open, open source. source. <laughs> All open impressive, source. impressive stuff, uh, and also very important. So, like, I think for both of us, like uh, Anuj and myself, like it was like the first hackathon, and like I think one great thing about this, you get to meet like amazing people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you just meet people, build stuff, and have fun. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Any other thoughts about your first hackathon? It's pretty fun, I think. Like. Um, Challenging. Like, I, I was doing a lot, like a lot of like the data collection stuff and like minor stuff, but like, I got to learn a lot from other people and how to like just throw shit and like get things things working. So that was like really nice to like observe and learn. Lot of coffee. Yes. <laughs> lot of coffee. <laughs> yes, a lot of coffee, and now it's going to be. Well, at least for me anyway, a little bit of beer and a little bit of pizza. I'm Phil from OpenCV. We will catch you next time. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was no safety here. <laughs>